Welcome to the DO Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damon Arposio, and welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're going to be talking about going and um, getting the attention, uh, especially when it comes to media. So today, I was at uh, Sheridan College. Thank you for having me there. Uh, and allowing me to be there, the Mississauga campus at Square One. And uh, I was there uh, for a lecture and I got an opportunity to meet and um, and listen to Tamara uh, Tatham. And um, she is a professional basketball player and uh, she went to the 2012 Olympics and she's going to be going also to the 2016 Olympics in Rio, Pan Am gold medalist, and um, this Canadian basketball player that plays for um, that plays for Canada is uh, someone that went to Chincuzi High School. So she's from Brampton and um, soon to be living in Toronto. Uh, and just a really nice person. And, you know, when I watch the other sports and I'm like, wow, like um, I wish a lot of these guys would get more more um, notoriety and more credit and and I see that it's not just boxing that is lacking in getting that coverage and that just brought me to the point where I was thinking you know what I got to relay that to um, the people that watch the show as well to let them know it's not just boxing that the media doesn't cover you know it's it, it's part of it is a business with the media you know if you're not spending the money in advertising dollars they're likely not going to pick something up unless it's related to something um, that they're kind of covering or you fall within the theme that they're looking for or it's a, it's a slow news day. But otherwise, you've got to go and you've got to get the attention that you want to get by, by putting yourself out there, getting the information out there and investing in yourself. Um, so this bright young lady, she's very articulate, an amazing basketball player. Uh, I watch a lot of her highlights and in a lot of her games and um, she's just phenomenal. So I want to say a shout out to Tamara Tatham and um, also just to, you know, relay to the people that are like, you know, heavily into the boxing arena and wondering, oh, why is the media not necessarily focusing on boxing or only focusing on one or two people in the boxing community? But that's basically why it's it's the same thing across the board with a lot of sports. You've got to go and you've got to get that information. And especially now with um, social media, YouTube, there's so many ways that you can go out. There's a lot of great videos I've been seeing lately that people are going out and they're actually getting like really good videos done um, by people and putting them up as either commercials or promos for fights or for themselves. And that's awesome. I think that it's great. Um, never listen to the naysayers or the haters um, that, may, that may make comments about your videos they're great to have. Um, the silent majority is very inspired by them and very motivated by them. And um, that, that triggers other people to continue doing the same thing. It triggers other people to make videos, to give themselves exposure, um, and which is good. You want that trickle-down effect, especially to the new generation of young kids that are coming up. And they're talented. We don't want to stifle that talent. We want to make sure that they can let people know who they are, what they do, and um, I think it, it just it just makes life more interesting and makes the sports shine that much brighter. Um, thanks for listening to another episode of the Do Boxing Show. Remember, you can ask us any question by sending us a message through Twitter at d o k p o s i o or through email akposio at hotmail dot com, and um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel through Damon Akposio, and you can get every episode of the Do Boxing Show. Um, thanks again for tuning in. We appreciate it. Don't forget to come to the 2016 Boxing Trade Show happening on May the 7th. It's only $5 in advance. Get your tickets. Um, we still have a couple booths left um, that you can purchase for $200 if you're a business or a fighter and you want to promote yourself. And then we shut down at 5 p.m. 7 p.m. We open up for the induction ceremony, which begins with fights and then ends with awards. And uh, we're looking forward to having a great event on that evening. And again, falling in line with this episode, um, recognizing the people that have contributed to boxing. And we're going to make that a tradition, an annual tradition, um, and, uh, and give people the recognition they deserve. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next episode.